Welcome everyone, this is the WNBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Las Vegas Aces against the New York Liberty. Court side, Tim Schwartz and Brian Benefitini. I'm Blake Suniga, and we've go. got a fun one. And two superpower offenses tonight. Tim, these games are typically fun for the fans, uh, fun for the announcers. We will all enjoy tonight. It's one reason we've seen the popularity of the WNBA skyrocket. Fans love to see offense, and we've seen this league become all about scoring. Yeah, and in terms of the game, defense will be at a premium because in these types of contests, whoever turns it over less has a great shot to win. And it might just take one or even two key stops to get the win. And she makes that one. One of the advantages for Nurse, she's six feet, so tall for a point, allows her to get a clear view of the whole court. Now here is McBride. Right here, right here. Watch ball. Six to shoot. Pass to Plum. The shot off that time. Some solid defense from Brittany Boyd. Three misses to open the game. Their offense is trying to get it going. Charles. Yes, and it's Brittany Boyd picking up the assist. Tough make. You don't end up making over 2,000 baskets like Charles without some hard ones. Pass to McBride. A second chance effort, and she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. It's going to be on Amanda Zowie B. You see, this is what you get with Kayla McBride. You get a clever score with just a knack for earning free throws. And you think of intense competitors. Kayla's got to be one of the first mentioned. So much passion for the game. She's one of the league's hardest workers. So she gets them both. And thinking of Kayla McBride, her will to win translates well to the offensive end. Yeah, there's not a defender in this league that she's afraid to go up against. And Kayla just likes to keep defenders guessing as she can score in a variety of ways. Here's Allen. And she was camped there in the lane. And she gets the three-second call. Ride with the ball. Outside Plum. Inside. Swords. And there's a foul on the shot. She'll go to the line for two. And looking at Wilson's working campaign, what a year she had. Unanimously won the WNBA's Rookie of the Year Award and was even named an All-Star. Wilson started her WNBA career with a bang, but she's determined to go even higher. Absolutely. She has the work ethic and skill set to dominate this league for years. She might be the face of the WNBA before you know it. And so she makes both from the line. Number one picks in the draft face a lot of pressure, but Wilson is laser focused and has remained composed. 
First quarter ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Outside Boyd, back to Nurse. Just five on the clock. From way back! One with the rebound. I mean, it would have been something to see her hit from all the way back there. There aren't many players that can hit from out there, but she's definitely one of them. Trying to get something going. They're over five to start. Now here's Boyd. And it's Gray missing. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. Now here's Plum. Go ahead, basket. Pass to Boyd. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Second shot opportunity. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, it's always good to take advantage of over eager defenders. Now, Gray is smart and keeps the opponents on their toes. It's her first trip to the line. Shooting two. And she makes the first. A second round pick in the 2015 WNBA draft. Rashonda Gray has been a bit of an underdog in this league. She's been getting better each season though. And I think that she can become a premier talent pretty soon. Both shots good from the strike. And with Gray slipping into the first round back in 2015, Brian, would that give you any added motivation to succeed in the pros? Definitely, Blake. For Gray, she's got to have that same mindset. Believe in yourself and show the world what you can do. I believe in her dedication towards being a star in this league. Good. Two points. Putting her physical gifts to good use. Ray was not going to be denied on that contact finish. Nick right outside. Rebound, Tina Charles. The defense was ready for her, got a hand in her face, and made that one much tougher. And that's something that every team needs. Rugged interior defense to just make your opponent think twice about coming down the lane. Now, here's Young. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. To the inside. And the layup's good off the glass. A team-oriented leader with a passion for making others better. McBride is simply a fantastic teammate. Here's Boyd. And here is Nurse. Down low. Down. It's good, and she drew the contact on the shot. So she'll go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Okay, let's take a look here tonight at Asia Wilson. Now, she was the first overall pick for the Aces back in 2018. And, you know, she was actually the first pick ever for this franchise's iteration in Las Vegas. What's up? And that one misses. And for Wilson, the 2018 Rookie of the Year, she is clearly the future of this team. And you know, Blake, she's not the tallest center in the league. Wilson's only 6'4", but she is as smooth as it gets in the post on both ends of the floor. Great footwork and a fantastic sense of the game. Now here's Plum. He can't hit that time. He and Nurse playing some nice D. She's going to play her way right onto the bench if she continues to shoot the ball like she has this quarter. And she's able to get it back. Allen's shot is off. Yeah, her touch has deserted her this quarter. Nowhere to be found. Pass to Young. Wilson. 
outside Young. From long range. And it's Nurse with the rebound. Well, you have to like the work in the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. You kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Oh, yep, that one goes. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize his team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. Now here's Wilson. Great D that time from Tina Charles. Here's Allen, guarded by Young. Gray outside, Boyd. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Nurse. And she converts the layup. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run, passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Now here's Plum. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Knocked away. Here's Boyd. Gray outside. Nurse up top. Allen. Pass to Charles. Nice defense from Asia Wilson. Outside Young. Here's Wilson. And the ball out of play. The Liberty will have. Really careless turnover. That should have been the simplest for the team. And the Aces making a change here. Here's Hartley. Pass to Charles. Gray. Now here's Hartley. Defended by Swords. Durr with it. Off to a good start as she gets her first shot. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse down timeout, and timeout. make them shoot jumpers. Timeout called the Aces. Well, the New York Liberty, a marquee franchise in the WNBA. One of the charter teams in the league, but unfortunately, they're still looking for their first title. Wilson and be outside. Swords over Gray. Hits it from about six feet out. Fed her teammate off the bounce there. That was a nice play. Now here's Hartley. Guarded closely. Right. And it's blocked by Asia Wilson. We're watching an elite shot blocker go to work. Uh, great timing by Wilson. That's something she seems to have mastered. That one gives them a plus five rebound again. Yeah, pretty clear. They've come out with the better energy and effort thus far. Outside Durr. The floater. Here's Charles. The shot will not fall. Great D that time from Jackie Young. Here's Colson. 
again. And Hamby with the lay-in. She was the first one to react to that miss. I mean, that's just a hustle play on the putback. Outside Charles. Pass to Gray. And here is Hartley. by Swords. The ace is trailing. Jackie Young drives in. Soft touch off the glass. With lightning quickness and a great handle, Young can drive at will. And you really can't double her because she's so good at passing the ball. Now here's Hartley. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Young with the steal. game is crashing the glass and she really just refuses to quit on any play Hartley outside here's Charles and again it's the Liberty missing not sure what the D was doing there she's not the player to give open looks to but they got away with it that time pass to Wilson Here's Coulson. Just four to shoot. Wilson guarded by Durr. Second chance shot. And Young finishes inside. Her position might be guard and primarily point guard, but Young can score inside. She's six feet, tough, and quite crafty. Now here's Hartley. Here's Charles. They can't stop the run with that one. Uh, okay, look, look, I know she isn't having the best of games from the floor, but it hasn't seemed to hurt them. They get it again. Colson misses. You know, typically she has the touch to finish when she's in that tight. Not sure what happened there. Pass to Durr. Back to Charles. Hartley. The shot's good on the assist by Tina Charles. It's one of the reasons Charles is a perennial all-star. She has incredible court vision, finding the open player for the hoop. Olsen. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Liberty out in front. They lead by four. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. ready to start up and taking a look at the Liberty performance here guys what are your thoughts some great defense on their part so far in this one they've really worked well as a unit to help on drives and rotations New York leading Hartley outside pass to Durr Hartley He can't get it to go. Great D that time from Carolyn Swords. Here's Hamby. And that one drops for her. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on D. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. Great D, she picked it and went end to end, going the distance for the solo finish. Hartley outside. Pass to Durr. Hartley. Outside Durr. Shot clock at six. Takes the three. Doesn't go for her. And Las Vegas the other way now. Well, one player that immediately comes to mind when I think of relentless work ethics is Asia Durr. Now, She's always working on her game, and throughout her life, coaches have actually had to force her to train less. They'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can make. 
Now here's Young. Guarded by Durs. Young shot's good. You sit back and enjoy the poise from Young. Maybe not the highest percentage shot with the contact, but she still sinks it. And you talk about the work Durr puts into her craft. How important is a good work ethic for a young talent like her, Tim? Oh, it's critical, Blake. Always important to establish early on that you're in it to win it. You want to earn the trust of your teammates and your coaches, and working tirelessly will do that for you. We're now around two minutes into this second quarter. Outside Young. Pass to Wilson. Young. That's good, and it's Asia Wilson with the assist. They're doing much better now. In the first quarter, they converted less than 30% of their field goals, but they bounced back here in the second. It's Tanisha Wright on the wing. With the fadeaway. Prince grabs the board. Yeah, the fadeaway allowed her to get the ball over the defender, but unfortunately, uh, just employing the fadeaway doesn't give you a touch on the shot. Now here's Rodgers. Down to five on the shot clock. It doesn't go for her. Some solid defense from Tanisha Wright. Durr with it. Ambi on her. They get it back. Shot's good by Wright. Way to crash the offensive glass there. And once she gets her hands on it, you know it's going back up and in. Outside Rogers. Pass to Hamby. Young. Wilson left side. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. You know, I admire the confidence that Wilson plays basketball with game in and game out. She remains calm and collected every time she's out on the hardwood. Talking about Wilson, she isn't afraid to go up against anybody. Yeah, and I think that's part of what makes her a great shot blocker. Never wants to let in any easy buckets. Her defensive presence means so much to this team. And good on both. And in this second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. outside. Shoots over Wilson. Here's Charles. Out of bounds. It'll be Aces ball. Aces ball. The Aces making a switch. The Aces with the lead. Now Plum. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. It's two on one. Boyd with it. Picked up by Plum. Out of bounds. Liberty ball as New York keeps possession. Puts it up off the inbound. A California native. Boyd didn't even have to leave the state to play collegiate basketball. That must have felt good. And we see it all too often, Tim. A good team gets up for a big game, gets the win, and then loses to an inferior club the very next night. But really, Blake, what is a quote-unquote inferior team? These are the best players in the world. Sure, some teams do have worse records. Shoot two. However, on any night, any team can step up. Yeah, and the season is a grind. You know, head coaches always tell me their biggest challenge is keeping your team locked in. And if you're not 100% locked in, good luck beating anyone. I mean, even the lower teams in the WNBA. 
and a chance here to see the incredible Tina Charles in action. Former MVP, uh, she won the award in 2012, without a doubt, the leader of the New York Liberty. Hits the second from the line. Plum with it. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Prince. Outside Plum. And there's the foul. It'll be on Kia Nurse. That's her first foul. Right outside. Bambi. The shot's good. Kayla McBride making the play. And with Tina Charles, she has always been great and proved her defense recently. And the defensive improvement goes hand in hand with her rebounding. Always been one of the best rebounders in the league, but now she gives you everything you want on the block. Now here's Nurse. Here's Charles. It's in. Bucket number four for her, shooting at a four for nine clip. Only one player in the history of the WNBA has made more two-point buckets than Tina Charles. Making hoops inside is her bread and butter. Here's Wilson. Eight points for her. Pass to Prince. Clock at six. Goes up on the wing. New York with the rebound. Nurse outside. With the teardrop. And the layup is good. What fantastic touch from Nurse. It's a huge ace up her sleeve. The ability to put it in the hoop from inside. Now here's McBride. Here's Prince. Over Nurse. And it's Prince missing. That is such a low percentage shot. She's got to remember that she has four teammates out there with her. She doesn't need to do it all by herself. And Allen gets it to go. And just a huge hole in the defense, and she didn't waste any time going through it. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Prince defended by Nurse. Side plum. Pass to Prince. The three is up. The aces with another miss. New York in the lead. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. And one of the stars of the WNBA on this Las Vegas team is Liz Cambage. She's an Australian star who played in the WNBA initially in 2011 before heading overseas. But since coming back in 2018, the 6'8 center has been nothing short of dominant. Shooting two. For Cambage, she owns the record for most points scored in a game. She dropped in 53 in 2018 against the Liberty. In her prime now, she is shaping up to be one of the all-time greats. Just dominant physically. Her ability to use her size and take over a game is second to none. The fans just love her. That one is no good. The ace is trailing. Pass to Young. One. Let go. That drops and it comes off an assist from Emory Young. Well, she's played well over 300 games in this league. Young has a tremendous feel for when teammates are open. Gray outside. Now here's Nurse. There's the lob to the hoop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt right there. Here's Hamby using the post moves to get the two points. And that makes it a tie ball game. Nurse outside. 
Pass to Allen. Zowie B with it. He's covered by Hamby. Here's Boyd. Knocks it loose. But they'll get another chance. Now here's Zowie B. She's guarded closely. And she comes up with the deuce. Where was the box out? Some easy second chance points. Those kinds of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Now here's Plum. Pass to Hamby. Amanda Zowie B with the defensive effort. Now Gray. She's guarded by Wilson. Now Nurse. Right up top, defended by Nurse. And here's Hamby. Outside Plum. Wilson. She can't get that one to fall. On offense, here are the Liberty. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And the ball out of play, the Liberty will have it. The Aces making a change here. Outside Boyd. Pass to Nurse. The fadeaway. Las Vegas grabs the miss. Here's Young. The Aces with another miss. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Poked away. And now the Aces on the break. And Wilson gets it to go. It's a tie ball game. Look, steals never come easy in this league, but Wilson is a sound and timely decision maker, and it helped her on that play. Timeout called the Liberty. When I think of players who have really improved as rebounders, I immediately think of Rashonda Gray. Early in her WNBA career, she wasn't putting up the biggest numbers, but with more minutes nowadays, she's been putting in work. New York with it. Nurse outside. Pass to Durr. Carolyn Swords with the block. They get it back. Zowie B gets the bucket. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that's gone in their favor. Yeah, effort and determination on the glass, they, they really can compensate for a lot of deficiencies. Now here's Young. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. The rebound by Zowie B. Nurse outside. Durr. Missed inside. She just has not gotten into the flow of this game. But yeah, her teammates have certainly done their part today. But she just hasn't gotten into the flow of this game. And it's uh, it's been tough to see. Now here's Nurse. She's got six. Pass to Zowie B. The putback. Here's Gray. And there she 
some points. Work on the glass, paying off that time. They've been really active on the boards this quarter. Those second chance points are keeping them from falling further behind. Here's McBride. Got it. Good job in the low post. Every year, McBride works on improving additional aspects of her game. So it's really no surprise to see her well-rounded offensive game that includes such a sweet floater. Pass the swords. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. With that basket, that's now eight of the last 10 points they've surrendered, coming on fast breaks. Somebody wake up. They look asleep out there in transition, not showing nearly enough urgency getting back quickly. Well, good defense in the paint, worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is, and we just saw it right there. Without her presence, that's an easy two points. Now here's Young. He hasn't scored yet, but that I'm sure will change. Just two to shoot over Gray. Young's shot is off. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. Here's Durr. Sinks the triple. With a rapid release, Durr truly does not need much time to get her shot off. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Liberty out in front. They lead by one. And we will be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Fourth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. Wilson has been dominant in this game. Sheer dominance in the post by her so far. Just tearing them to shreds when she gets the ball inside. And getting it to her is the only hard part because once she's got the rock, she's automatic. The third quarter are now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. And here's Charles. Outside Boyd. The shot, no good. Excellent D there from Kelsey Plum. Now here's Young, defended by Nurse. Young shot's good. Not much resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. In fact, I'll just say it, they are automatic. Hey, I'm right here. Here's Allen. Over to the left wing. Now here's Nurse. He's guarded by Wilson. A shot by Nurse, no good. The Aces with the lead. Stolen by Zowie B. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. So she gets the whistle, contact on the way up. Two shots, next. It goes on Asia Wilson. At the line for your New York Liberty. 
Amanda Sawi B. Taking two shots. She knocks down the first one. She hits both from the strike. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Pull out the screen. Pull out the screen. Outside Plum. Pass to Wilson. <laughs> Amanda Zawibi with the defensive effort. Well, fortune can definitely be found in Las Vegas. And if you're asking why, well, just listen to this. The Aces have won the WNBA draft lottery three straight times now after drafting first overall in 2017, 2018, and 2019. That one goes down, but offensively, just one of four to start the third quarter. Pass to Young. Wilson with it. Plum, Boyd covering. Six to shoot. Can't hit. And that bit of luck for the Aces has given them a solid foundation. Well, anytime you get to draft the top player in a draft class, things are looking up. To do it three times in a row, and that's almost unheard of. The Aces have made the most of their selections as those picks are the core of this Las Vegas roster. Now here's Boyd. The three-pointer, no good. A lot of clanks by them early in the second oh. here so far. Only one make on five. So one of the most efficient shooters in the game has to be Kelsey Plum. She has everything you want in a score. Range, confidence, and fluidity. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, because Plum is such a good shooter, uh, people sometimes forget about her as a facilitator. Yeah, her floor vision is exceptional at such a young age, and she understands the schemes and tendencies, which helps her read the defense. And Plum just plays an unselfish game, and despite her own offensive capabilities, she loves seeing her teammates score. New York in the lead. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Rejected by Carolyn Ford. And the ball out of play. The Liberty will have it. And it's New York's ball. They held a 12-point lead earlier. The basket counts and won. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point ball. is trailing three minutes gone now in the third quarter here's young las vegas the rebound swords gets the bucket well done to finish that one off and it's new york's ball their defense has only allowed six points in the second half Outside. 
Six on the shot clock. Back to Hartley. It's stolen by Jackie Young. Fast break, Las Vegas. Young shot's good. And it's a tie ball game. Well, when you've been in the league as long as Young, you understand when to run, when to get those easy hoops. Now here's Hartley. Now Boyd. And that one good. The D has no answer for that move. Beautifully done. Easy lay. And it's the Aces with the ball. Pass to Wilson. Here's Swords. Plum, Boyd covering. Outside Plum, five on the clock. For the lead. The rebound by Hartley. Here's New York now. The lead is two. Shoots it up. And the foul on Zawi B. That's her third foul of the game. And here are the aces now. Pass to Swords. Rogers. Outside Young. And she's going for the oop here. Boyd with the steal. In transition, here come the Liberty. Hartley, good. Running effective pick and rolls it is only a small part of what makes Boyd a premier point guard in this league. Now here's Young. She's got eight. Can't hit it from 12 feet. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Count it. Good. One aspect of their play today that's been far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow, it can be elusive, uh, but the great offense is habit. And that's just what they've shown tonight. And there's the foul. It'll go on Maria Hartley. That'll be her second foul of the game. Left side, Young. Outside, Rogers. Pass to Hamby. Shot clock at five. Here's Young. That one rolling around and rims out. Man, these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. Now, here's Wright. Seven points in the game. Here's Hartley. And they force the shot clock violation. Great defense. And the Liberty making a change here. Rashonda Gray. Rogers with it. Side Young. Pass to Swords. Four on the shot clock. Jordan Rogers for three. They grab their own miss. Swords. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trick to the line to shoot two. What a play in attack mode and get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And this is our first free throw of the game. Shooting two. one drops and 
she makes both free throws. A perfect half at the free throw line for them. That'll help their comeback effort for sure. Yeah, those free throws are helping them keep in contact. Now here's Durr. Five points in the game. Hartley. It's rebounded by Young. Pass to Prince. To the middle. Here's Swords. The rebound by the Liberty. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And here is Gray. Guarded by Young. Now here's Hartley. Right side, Durr. Side. The putback. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Boy, she's a bulldog in the paint area. I mean, great second effort to get to the basket. Well done. Now here's Rogers. Outside Young. Erica Ambi on the wing. Outside Young. There's the triple. Ooh, no luck on that one. So New York will take it the other way. Right outside. Outside Durr. There's the three. Connects from downtown. With the appropriate range and release to sink from downtown, Durr is without a doubt a skilled shooter. Now here's Rogers. Pass to Young. A rebound by Hartley. As she's been struggling big time in this quarter, guys. She really has tightened up. I'm just not seeing any flow to her game right now. Here's Durr. She's got eight. Now we be. Great D that time from Carolyn Swords. Sugar Rogers into the lane. Uses the glass to finish the layup. New York leading. Well, Jackie Young, she grew up in a small town in Indiana and went on to also play collegiate basketball in state. But after being drafted number one overall by the Aces, she'll be spending lots of time in Las Vegas. And that can be hard for young players sometimes, adjusting to a new scene, a new environment. And the basket is good. Backed by a wide-ranging offensive skill set, Dura can really mix up defenders. Now here's Rogers. Swords. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. It's going to be on the Mandel Zowie B. And after spending much of her life in Indiana, Young now in Las Vegas playing for the Aces. Brian, what's the key to smoothly adapting to a new team, a new city? Well, I would tell young players like Young to embrace the community and engage with fans because that always goes a long way. Shoot but two. at the end of the day, delivering results is what matters, whether it's on or off the court. The first one falls, so it's both teams making substitutions here. Perfect from the line this time. And it's New York's ball. Seven point differential. Here's Nurse. Not going to go that time. Great D that time from Jackie Young. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Outside Young. Just five to shoot. Back to McBride. From deep. Here's Swords. And there's the bucket, staying with it that time, and offensive glass getting it done. 
And so it's New York with it. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Durr. And she banks in the layup. Nobody should be surprised at this scoring outburst from Durr. Let's not forget the time she scored 47 points in college. Now here's McBride. Here's Coulson. Back to McBride. And stolen by Gray. In transition, here come the Liberty. Pass to Nurse. Looking to get back on track. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Las Vegas trailing. Here's Coulson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Amanda Zawibi with the block. The tough shots aren't going down for her right now, but the easy ones aren't either, so what do you do? Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Here's Coulson. To the paint. Here's Swords. Amanda Zawibi with the defensive effort. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle today. And control the boards has given them control of this game. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and game clock. Outside dirt. Shoots from the high post. That shot off. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Liberty out in front, up 11. And after a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Well, I'm so happy we get to see this pass just one more time. A magnificent feed. You love to see the two uh, kind of taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, that is some dime dropping, guys. Accurate and on time. Welcome back. Fourth quarter of action starting up in what has been a one-side show. Right outside. Outside Plum. Tries it from 16. The rebound by the Liberty. It's almost like she's trying to make things hard on herself. Work it around. Get an easier shot. Outside Durr. Pass to Allen. Now Gray. Here's Nurse. And again, it's New York with a three. They're in great position thanks to their accurate three-point shoot. You got that right, Tim. And you don't usually get too many of those things right. But look, they're just lighting it up from beyond the arc this half. Come on, man. Shooting two. the second one minute in now to the fourth quarter outside Boyd pass to Nurse now here's Charles and 
so she earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. Few players get to the line like Charles. Why? Simple moves like that, fooling defenders into fouls. Some players rise to high expectations, and Tina Charles is certainly one of them. After being selected first overall in 2010, Charles was the Rookie of the Year with Connecticut. And that one misses. And remember, that rookie season for Charles was historic. One of the best postseasons ever. How about this number, Blake? Charles set the record for rebounds in a season during that rookie year, making a statement. She'll be a force in the WNBA for years to come. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second miss. The top pick in the 2010 draft, Tina Charles made an immediate impact, winning Rookie of the Year, averaging a double-double with the Sun. Here's Coulson. Pass to Young. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Off target at the rim. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. Now here's Plum. Pass to Colson. Down low. And that one's good, Wilson. A strong combination of finesse and skill. And look, when Wilson's rolling, keep feeding her the ball. Now here's Nurse. And here's Boyd. It's a deflection. For those joining us, fourth quarter here, and we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Coulson, defended by Nurse. And the ball out of play, the Liberty will have it. And it's New York's ball. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Pass to Zawi B, to the middle. Here's Charles, in it goes. For the fifth time and 10 shots for her this game. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Here's Plum. Boyd covering. Kick it up, kick it up. Right side Plum. To the inside. Double team on Asia Wilson. And there's the three second Three. violation. Boneheaded play guy. Plain and simple. And mistakes like that are going to make it very hard for them to get out of this hole. And that's part of the reason why they're in this hole. And so it's New York with it. Nurse outside. Pass to Allen. Zowie B. Shoots over swords. Zowie B shot is off. on the layup. A little bit of everything in her game. Young keeps you on your toes. She can shoot from distance, but also take it to the hoop. Here's Allen. Charles. On the south side. Back to Charles. Five to shoot. Pass to Allen. Shoots the three. And she's good on the three ball. Well, they certainly haven't hesitated to let it fly from deep here in the second half. And I don't have a problem with that either, Tim. I mean, as long as they're falling, right? Just don't get too conservative trying to milk the lead. Now here's Wilson. See Plum drives in. It's not going to go for her. Nice D from Kia Nurse. She's killing them with her poor shooting. Oh, and they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. It could be a three-point play.
the aces with the ball. Trailing by 17. Wilson outside. Pass to Plum. Shot clock at six. Back to Wilson. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Kelsey Plum. Yeah, she certainly is not the one to blame for them being in the hole today. She's been right on the money. Now here's Zoe B. Nurse. Pass to Charles. Over Rogers. Charles. Good. She's been one of their more reliable options today, and it's her shooting that has given them this lead. Plum with it. And there's the foul. It'll go on Boyd. That's her first foul. Left side, Rogers. Pass to Swords. Outside, Young. Five on the clock. Wilson. Trevor Rogers for three. Well, playing with great effort on D. Nurse, I mean, she's a big guard, six feet with length. It makes her capable as an on-the-ball defender. Zowie B, defended by Swords. Here's Allen. Charles. Here's Nurse. And again, it's New York with a three. They are dialed in from three-point land here in the fourth. Yeah, and that's just putting it mildly, Tim. I mean, they're putting a world of hurt on their opponents with the triple. And there's no better time, Brian, to hit threes than in the fourth quarter. Pass to Wilson to the left wing. Outside Plum. Trevor Rogers for three. Nice D from Kia Nerdy. Here's Allen. Side. Now he shot his off. Here's Las Vegas. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, full stretch offensively. They need a bucket. And she's showing signs of life now after going scoreless through halftime. What's up? powerhouse in college, but through hard work and desire, Tamara Young has carved out a long WNBA career. And the Liberty call time here. And guys, thinking of small markets versus big markets, uh, how does that impact WNBA franchises? Like, uh, I think all-star players want to play in big markets where the, where the lights are brighter and the uh, situations are more high profile. I think the idea of playing in New York or Los Angeles might be more attractive to a big-time player than you know, Phoenix, for example. Yeah, and exposure is certainly a big part of it, uh, especially as an increasing number of players want to maximize their brands during their playing careers. But small markets can still succeed. You know, you mentioned Phoenix, Tim. They just won a WNBA championship not too long ago. Yeah, excellent job in the scoring department, hitting around 50% of her shots. So uh, she hasn't scored much. If it hasn't been there, she's made the next pass. Well, without her heroics tonight, this team may have endured a second straight loss. But she was remarkable. And instead of a losing streak, she now has them headed in the right direction. Now here's Nurse. Block. Pass to Plum. Oh. 
Back to Young. Wilson. Now Young. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Tina Charles. To the middle. Foul call that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw line. Erilyn Swords picks one up. But when you have her on your team, you feed her in the post. Charles is too much to handle. So Tina Charles has had lots of great moves in the league. But 2012 was arguably her finest. Charles averaged a double-double, garnering MVP honors for Connecticut. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, for Charles in 2012, winning MVP in just her third year in the league. And guys, she carried Connecticut, leading the team in points, rebounds, and blocks. And she helped the Sun finish 25-9, and owning the best record in the East. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And here are the aces now. Trailing by 19. On the wing, Tamara Young. Over Charles. And another miss by Las Vegas. Nurse, right side. Pass to Boyd. Here's Allen. She's guarded by Plum. Here's Charles. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. One of the best at getting freebies. Tina Charles normally in the top ten in free throw attempts in this league. Tina Charles at the line of two. The first free throw is good. Well, the WNBA is pretty integrated with the NBA, but do you guys see any other avenues the leagues could explore together? One thing I've always thought about, Blake, is merging the all-star festivities somehow. Now, remember, uh, the WNBA used to have players participate in the NBA Shooting Stars Challenge, but what if the NBA's three-point shootout also featured a few of the best sharpshooters from the WFL? I like that idea, Brian. I'm pushing the envelope a bit further. What about all-star game integration? Each team could have a WNBA player or two on the court at all times. I think that would make for some awesome entertainment. Al Plum. On the wing, Tamara Young. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Liberty. And this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. Pass to Charles. And they double up Tina Charles. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here are the aces now. Plum with it. Everyone and their kids have social media accounts, and they're mixed feeling on the effects of it. Do you see this as a good thing for players, Brian? Well, for promotion, interaction, and building a brand, I think it's great because it allows the players to have fun exchanges with their fans. And so I think it's been fantastic in terms of allowing the general public into the lives of the stars. I think it's been great 
for the fans to see the real personality of these players beyond the court. The only issue is, as NBA commissioner Adam Silver pointed out, is sometimes athletes can dive too deep into it. It's an awesome tool as long as it's used correctly. A unanimous selection to the WNBA All-Rookie Team, McBride made an immediate impact in this league. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. While some might call McBride her team's vocal and emotional leader as she really knows how to fire up her squad and her teammates really have no problem rallying behind her. the second free throw good yeah and speaking of McBride's impact she just makes those around her better yeah her scoring ability opens up the floor for the rest of her team creates good looks for others because of all the attention on her that's the nurse Charles she's guarded by Wilson that we be nice defense from Asia Wilson excellent interior D but right there to force the miss yeah, and unlike you, Tim, her defensive ability is a huge factor. No doubt about it. That's the area where they'd like all their shots to come from. Here's New York now. They led the game at one point by 20. Last is how we be. And guys, the way the game is played today, more wide open, fast pace, does that put more strain on Biggs physically? Yeah, I'd say so, running up and down the court. It's always physically draining, especially for Biggs. But as the game adapts, so do the players, so I think they'll be okay in the long run. Well, yeah, and, and today's WNBA players are such great athletes, so I'm not sure how much it really matters. And with all the advancements in nutrition and training, got to be the nail in the coffin. I'd say so. They've done a great job of closing this one out, never backing off, even with the big lead. Now here's Plum. <laughs> it's Cameron Young with the drive. And she drops in the layup off glass. This run really not doing them any good, coming as late as it has. Yeah, but give them credit for showing the fight they're showing, Tim. It would have been real easy to just throw in the towel by now. Yeah, but it's still going to be a loss, probably. Here's Nurse. Charles. He's guarded by Wilson. And they double up Tina Charles. Block at six. Count that bucket. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, they're not taking any chances. This is how you close a game out. Just look how happy their coach is. Outside Plum, looking to end her cold spell. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they never found. The energy here was just tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. Uh, once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm, the flow of the game. What a treat. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.